Ashfal, intuitive healer and energy artist. I was told in a meditation this morning to do this video um, because I've got the Feel Safe Feeling experience coming up uh, next week. And I had something happen to me this week that really brought why, um, why I'm doing this Feel Safe Feeling experience to a, like a real head for me. Um, it's so important for us to face our feelings and, um, and be real with ourselves about our old stories because those, um, those old stories are so bloody sneaky. I can't even tell you. They just, I thank you so much for the hearts and the thumbs up. I love you guys. Um, I can't see who's watching, but I so appreciate your support. Um, I had a big argument with one of my kids yesterday and it was really hard because like being a mom's hard to begin with, at least for me. And, and it just, I was so emotional and I couldn't figure out why I can't get through this. Like, you know, my kids are fine. And, and, and the one I had the argument with moved on and, and was happy for the rest of the day. And I just could not, like I was bawling my eyes out, even thinking about it now. I'm, uh, getting a little emotional. I'm going to try not to fall apart here, but I really wanted to, to do this video like raw and honest. Um, because this is an old story that's been running in my life for so freaking long. Like since I had kids, my oldest is 14 and a half. Um, and I finally, oh, hi, Susan. I got to the bottom of it um, yesterday because I sat with those, those icky feelings. I, I did the process that I'm going to teach you all next week. And it wasn't comfortable. Like in the past, the longest it's ever taken me to process a feeling was about six minutes. Yesterday, it, was, it felt like forever. And it just made me realize the importance of like why I need to teach this, why I need to invite as many people to this. And I want you to invite whoever you think needs this because it's just, it's so important. As I sat with these icky feelings of this old freaking toxic story that's been learning in my life, I came to the truth. Um, thank you so much for the hearts. I came to the truth that um, I don't feel safe feeling happy. Um, like how messed up is that? So so rather than judging that feeling, I was able to just sit with that truth. And to be honest with you, it's still very raw with me today. I'm not fully through it, you know, but, but it just, um, I'm still doing the process that I'm going to teach you next week. And the importance of telling yourself the truth, like who cares if you don't tell the truth, if you don't feel safe telling the truth to the world, if you don't tell the truth to yourself, you're never going to get through these um, and get to your whole self and, and like get to your healing. You have to tell yourself the truth. So as I sat there with my feelings yesterday and I sort of sifted through the thoughts that were coming up and I found this truth that I don't feel safe feeling happy because I'm afraid of being disappointed because it's so much easier just to you know, not be happy and withdrawn and emotionally numb than to be disappointed, isn't it? But what a way to live, right? It's it's not a good place to live when, when you're afraid of going for it or afraid of experiencing the fullness of joy for fear of disappointment. So that's kind of where I'm at today. And um, here I am, you know, I'm, I'm still processing this. I'm I'm going to go into my Akashic Records and ask for some support and healing there because this has been a long time coming. And even though that argument with my child yesterday was so painful for me, um, I'm grateful. I, I'm in a place of gratitude that it brought me here. <laughs> Sorry. It brought me to this truth. And now I can heal from it and remember that I'm whole and remember my value and all those wonderful things that that we're all going to experience um, next week uh, together as, as we're doing this experience, this feel safe feeling experience. Boy, I can't see anything. So I invite you to join me in the feel safe feeling experience. Um, stuff like this might come up, you know, but being able to share it and, and know that there's a support group with you um, 
Thank you, Tina. Give myself permission to be happy. I deserve it. I know, I know. <laughs> I know that intellectually, right? But it's going down into my heart and and integrating that, that healing, removing that layer that is making me forget how whole I am and how amazing it is to, to experience the fullness of emotion. Thank you so much for the hearts. I, I just, I love you guys so much. So the link is in the title of this video. Invite whoever you, you feel like needs this experience to, to really have a support and a system for experiencing like this type of stuff, this type of emotion. Um, this is big. This is a big healing for me and I'm so glad I got to share it with you and I'll keep you updated on how it goes, but I'm so stoked for that feeling safe experience next week. Uh, we start Monday morning at 11 a.m. I'm going to be live here on my Facebook profile sharing the system that I use and it's really simple. It's like it's almost too simple and I I just I love it though because it's so simple and it works really really well even if sometimes it takes a little while to get through it especially through some of these really old deep painful toxic stories that some of us live with many of us probably have lots of these so I can't wait to share that experience with you um, if you have any questions for me before we get started uh, let me know message me hi Rhonda and um, the link is in, in the title of this video, so feel free to sign up and um, I will send out the experience journal. It's almost finished. I'm in love with it. I will send it out to you next week. And thank you so much. See you all on Monday morning and have an amazing weekend.